We are a small yet mighty organization, and we are the one, uh, I guess, one-stop presenting arts film organization in the Valley. We refer to ourselves as a film society because we bring so much to this community, from entertainment and education to enlightenment. Aspen Film started in 1979 with our late founder, Ellen Koner Hunt. And Ellen and several of her friends decided that they were going to start a film festival essentially within the community and kind of in her backyard. My interest in film, as extensive as it is, is something that developed later on. And I, didn't, I don't think I ever realized or even thought about perhaps the power of film. She was a lovely lady. She was a salt of the earth and obviously was passionate about film, Aspen film, and Aspen. It made perfect sense that she had created this organization and I'm honored to be part of the history. And Ellen and her friends continued to put on films around the community at the Pepke Auditorium, at the Isis Theater, it was community run, all volunteers. But we've continued to show feature length art house, independent documentary films for 43 years now. This is the ticket line, this is the waitlist line for those. What was the impetus for you starting a film fest here? There were a lot of wonderful, talented films and filmmakers and that couldn't get seen or heard and outside of the Hollywood film system. So we decided to show them and give them a venue. It's always our goal to reach people who love movies and, and for people who appreciate the kind of festival that we are. We're an audience festival, we're not a market, we're not an industry event, but we're about movies and audiences and filmmakers and that's, that's what we really strive to present and that's what people seem to appreciate. I started writing when I was at screenplays when I was about 25, but actually before that I was born into a family where my father was a, a, a well-known actor, an Academy Award winner, Gregory Peck, and uh, so I, if you will, I, I kind of was raised uh, in Hollywood. Where I think I can bring value to Aspen Film is by bringing attention to it, really because of how I was brought up and who I know. and my belief in both Aspen Film and cinema at large. Our Shorts Fest has gone on to be an Oscar qualifier in five categories. And we do an Academy screening series in December where we show a lot of Oscar hopeful films. So that's a big deal for a lot of studios and distributors who want to make sure that their films get in front of voting members of a bunch of different guilds. We show an independent film every month at the Isis Theater, which we refer to as our Indie Film Showcase. One night a month, we take over, we put in a film that we think our community would really enjoy, so we do those. And then we do some special screenings throughout the year as well. Yesterday, for example, we did something with an organization out of Los Angeles called the USC Shoah Foundation. That is an organization that spotlights genocide in the world and they do a lot of educational programs and screenings, so we partnered with them. I'm Susan Rubel, the Executive and Artistic Director at Aspen Film. Um, <laughs> hi, everybody. So many friends to heckle in the front row. Um, it's so nice to see such a full house um, on a Tuesday afternoon, so thank you for spending your afternoon with us. And we also have a very special guest in the audience who I can't see, but David Schachter, who is a survivor, is here. David, it's a pleasure to see you. It's been too long. I'd love to sort of dig into that a little bit and talk about why we're here and why we're trying to educate people today and why it's so important for these stories to be carried forth through another generation and through young people today. I love what I do. I fell in love with cinema because it really opened up the world to me and I really felt that I got to know about different cultures and places and people and customs and traditions and mindsets by watching films. But I realized I wasn't a mainstream Hollywood person and I'm still not really a mainstream Hollywood person. And although I do appreciate some of the big fun movies and love Top Gun, Maverick as much as everybody else did, I still prefer the smaller stories. I have great respect for the big Hollywood blockbusters. It's not my primary interest because they're made for the kids. That's another reason why Aspen Film is so interesting to me because these are not obscure films. These are the best documentaries and features 
that are just outside the blockbuster status. Well, of course, it, uh, I mean, you know, film festivals are of primary importance. Uh, not only the people that uh, love film, but filmmakers, young filmmakers, uh, uh, ambitious to reach a, a larger audience, usually find their way to us through film festivals. So. We're in one of the most beautiful places on the planet, in Aspen. So we bring independent film into nature. A definition of independent by nature, someone who is striking out on their own, telling their story, their way. I don't really function well in the studio system. I'm not really, I'm not really good at it. So I started Castle Rock as a way kind of to give me the freedom to do the kind of work I like to do. It's the best award I've ever gotten. When you get an award like this, it makes you feel good. No, I've, I've been feeling great. This is a great, a fun day. So beautiful here in Aspen. You come to film festivals like this and you see the wonderful work that's being done, you think, oh, you get inspired. And I really think that's part of the power of cinema. It's, we always say we build bridges to communities and places and people around the world. I think cinema's role at large is to take people outside of themselves, expand their ideas of what is out in the world. We can learn, we can experience, we can take a break from ourselves in a great story with great character development. So we started an education program in the schools that go from Aspen all the way down to um, Rifle, and we reached last year 7,000 families. So it's that, that's a very exciting thing for us because we're, reach, we're being filmmakers to the classroom. We have the kids come up, what we did for the, this festival. And when these children, and they start young and see on some of these films, they start having critical, a way of looking at film critically, which is really not taught anymore. And so there's so much stuff that they see on the internet and everything. And I think by having a filmmaker explain why they do what they do, it allows them to get a different perspective on looking at film. So we really try to bring as much cinema as possible to the Valley. Well, we launched our filmmaking camp for kids last summer, which has been a huge success and hopefully will grow and grow and grow. And uh, we're so grateful to have all the kids here making films and we're thrilled to be part of the program. Look at this. I'm all set up and I can do this. Cheeto. It's awesome. Awesome, and I also got one of these. Pop that in A for me. It is really essential that young people participate in movie making and, and also in Aspen film. Uh, there is always a need for a great storyteller. And telling a story requires practice, requires experience. Say hi to behind the scenes, everybody. Hi, I'm gonna be handy. And I think one of the most important things in the movie business, in the entertainment business, is young storytellers. I mean, I just have the greatest respect for you three being here to do your jobs and enter this world. Because really, all we have at the end of the day is our own story. And I hope that you, in particular, will make storytelling yours and your life. That goes for you too, Quentin, to a degree, Tito. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I'm teasing. Oh. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. No, that was good. No, thanks. I'm sorry, I I mean, you three youngsters brought so much energy. I'm really, truly grateful to you.